This video is about updating firmware on LG OLED TVs. Go to www.lg.com, go ahead and click on software and drivers, type in your model number, in my case it's E7. It will bring you to the software page, download the latest version. This version should be newer than the version that is currently on your TV. When you click the uh, link, you'll see that you can save the file. Go ahead and save the file to your desktop or to your hard drive. You can also get a newer file. If there's not one on the LG website for the USA, you can go to the Korean website. Go ahead, same story, search for your model, click OK to save, save the file. One good thing about the Korean site is that if you scroll all the way down, you'll see that it lists the latest models or latest updates uh, for the current models. Uh, this is uh, basically the changes that were made in the software. It's good to have. Make sure that your USB drive is formatted for FAT32. After you download the file, go ahead and unzip it. Create a file on the USB drive called LG underscore DTV. Put that unzipped file into the folder. The LG underscore DTV should be in all capitals. After you install the USB key into the TV, you will see that it says, do you want to update the latest version? Go ahead and click yes. After you click yes, another box will pop up. It'll say software upgrade update is in process. You can go ahead and click on check now. After you click check now, in about, uh, I would say, 15 seconds, you'll see another screen pop up. It'll show you that it's updating. I sped it up for this video. Uh, when it gets to 99 or 100%, right around there, the TV will actually shut off. After the TV shuts off, you will see uh, pitch black, and then you will see the web OS come back up. That will take about a minute or so. You'll see the, the squiggly lines go around. Then you'll see it says your TV software has been updated. You can go ahead and go back into the general. You can then uh, scroll all the way down to about this TV. And then you will see that it shows the latest version 4.70.36, which is what it was as of this video. Please give a thumbs up if you liked this video, comment, and thanks for watching.